Hey, welcome back, my Koopa Troop. This is Koopa Kung Fu. We're gonna be heading back now to uh, Chapter 1 2 to go see Old Man. Watch it, watch it, and give him his personalized autograph that says Cup Star, or whatever that said. I couldn't really read it, but it did not say Merlumina, Merlumina, Mer. 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 Talks too much, yeah. But, anyways, we are. Gonna go head back now. Oh, sorry about that last episode. I know oh, no, that might have been a little bit boring, but you know, it's just some of the stuff we have to do. Reduces all damage by half. Um, I don't know. Sounds better than the Voltrum to me. Sure. All right, whatever. <laughs> bye bye, Voltrum. We're gonna keep moving up this way. Oh, I cannot wait to be done with these little errands. Sounds like we finished the last of the errands, so now we just have to hand everyone all their stuff now. So we'll be visiting Old Man Watch It, and after Old Man Watch It, we'll be, uh, oh crap. Eh, well actually this could work out. After Old Man Watch It, we'll be heading back to Bestovius. And after Bestovius, we are heading back to Merly, who will be then heading back to Merlovely. I know it's confusing, bear with me. I'm just as confused as you guys are. They're all just having us run their dirty work, their, their dirty errands for them. Isn't it terrible? I mean, it's it's like your friend comes over to your house and he's like, Hey, you want to hang out? You're like, sure, we can hang out. But first, you need to go run to the post office for me and do my laundry. And you're like, oh, thanks, friend. Not really a friend at all. All right, I'm going to ignore this guy and bounce off to his doom. Where are you going? Yep, you're going away for now. Oh, actually, let's just, let's just not even worry about that. Not even worry about that. We're just going to dodge all these things. Going up the hill, going up the hill. Yeah, I mean that would be a terrible friend, wouldn't that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. These just uh, none of these people are nice people. They're all terrible. None of them have any souls or have any decency in them whatsoever. I will be glad when we never have to see old man watch it again. Which hopefully will, after this mission will be never, never again will we have to see him. I've already talked to you. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. No, oh, wrong house. I don't care about this house either. I don't care about this house, got no preference. And finally, old man, watch this house. Why are all the doors so shaped so weird? Whatever. Old man, watch, I got your autograph, your creepy autograph. I didn't tie her up to like you wanted me to. What a weirdo. All right. Hey, hey, you there, you there, that lady up and left my dreams. I can't, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. She's not there. Can't watch what you can't watch. It was bad enough to hear her wailing on, but it's worse to see her disappear. You make no sense. If she was in your dream, she was talking to you and making you crazy. If she's not there, you're still disappointed. I can't please you, man. Deal with yourself. I got nothing else going on in my life. Even whooping folks with my cane has gotten old. Give me your cane, I'll whip you. It hasn't gotten old for me yet. Here, here's an autograph. We'll put it on a bookshelf or something. Is this... Is this her autograph? Just look at this cur curly cues and swoop de doos in her handwriting. I'm more flustered than the time I dropped a hot griddle in my grunders? Okay. First off, he's getting turned on by looking at her handwriting. Second off, I don't even want to know what his grunders are. And why the hell did he drop a hot griddle in them? That's gross. I mean, we can only assume grunders are the worst thing you can think of that a man might have. And he dropped his, a hot griddle on them. That don't explain why he's so grouchy and carries a can and beats people. Seriously, okay, imagine guys, imagine you're standing there, you're holding a hot griddle, and you drop it right into your grunder. What are you gonna do? Of course, you're gonna grab a tail, uh, a cane that looks suspiciously like a Meowth tail. Doesn't it look like a Meowth tail? Like literally he ripped a tail off a Meowth, straightened it out, and now uses it as a cane? That's a little creepy to think of. But knowing old man watch it, he probably did. So you're gonna grab this tail, and then you're just gonna beat people with it. For the rest of your life. I mean, I guess you got nothing better to do. It's not like you can ever use your grunder again, whatever that is. Then you just want autographs from creepy people who visit your dreams. This guy's got some serious mental problems. And he's the, uh, mayor of this town. Dumplings! Where was I? Oh, I owe you for helping her. You can take anything I own. Anything? Huh, well, I'm gonna take that nice Persian rug on the wall over there. Why do you keep your rugs on your, on your, uh, wall there, by the way? Um, that's not a good place to put them. You should put them on the floor. Eh! You want the you-know-what? Sure, yeah. Whoever told you about that better watch it, watch it! Give it to me, give me the you-know-what. 
I see, I see. So old Bestovius asked you to go get it for him. What a lazy ass. Doesn't make a whisker of sense. Why do you ask someone else to get it for him? I know, right? Why'd you ask me? Why don't you guys solve your own problems? Be a lot easier. Fine then, fine then, take it. But you better watch it, watch it. Hey, you know what? Take it to Bestovius. It's either a donut or a CD. I'm thinking it's a CD. And if it's a CD, why does Watch It have it? And why does Bestovius want it so bad? That's my cousin. He must have lots of fancy dancy hibbly jibbly wizard hobbies. But nothing means more to me than Merlumia. Crazy saying that out loud. Say hello to Bestovius for me and whoop him with a cane or a newspaper or something. I will. I will beat him senseless if my little minions have not already destroyed the hell out of him. Anyways, that's now the, done with that, so we can hit the return pipe and get back out of here. Yes, we want to return out of here. What do you think's on this CD? That they both want it so bad and they call it the you-know-what. You know what? I bet you it's their dirty old porn. I bet you these guys have dirty old porn on a dirty old CD and just trade it back and forth with each other. That seems... Actually, you know what? That sounds creepy, and it is, but it sounds right. Can't you imagine Bestovius and watch it? With like an old man CD porn kind of thing. Clearly old man watch has got problems and Mistovius is no better. Yeah, you know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna think about these guys anymore. They've got issues going on in their life. And they're about to die, so they can just you know, I I feel bad for them, you know, they're they're old, but they're also a little too much for me. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. It's cool. Get that real fast. Look at Luigi. He can just monster this jump. Or he can't. Oh, well, he can't like this. Clearly. Oh, he jumps off, um, jumps off what's-her-face, uh, Carrie when he does that. Okay, cool. All right, old man, or, you know, watch it, you're best of us. I got your dirty CD. Why do you have a door leading to another door immediately? Why don't you just have your house in the first room? Whatever. Here you go. He's gonna hide underneath you. <laughs> hmm, so the hero returns. Did you get the... You know what from Watch It? Yes, here you go. Here's your donut CD thing. You have it! This pleases Bestovius greatly! This is quite a collector's item. I was worried that Watch It had lost it. See, yeah, it is a collector's item. I know exactly what it is. You guys are you guys are creepy. Ah, I'm so relieved. Uh, I feel dirty just holding that thing. What is this? You still need something from the Grand Bestovius? I need you to shut up and give me my thing. My training thing, yeah. Ah, yes, of course, you seek the training machine. Of course I remember such little faith. Take it here, I would only disturb my sublime energies. That's definitely a DS. An exercise machine, take it to Mer Lovely. I, Vestovius, once used it myself, you see. But I upgraded to the newer, sleeker model, so I no longer required services. Ah, uh, it's an old DS, and he got a DS Lite. Wow. You had better give that to Mer Lovely and send along greetings from Vestovius. Wow, Nintendo, just... Why don't you just put in your game, upgrade and buy new Nintendo products? I mean, because that's pretty much what they said right there. They didn't even have any qualms about it, but... Anyways, while I'm making this Let's Play, there's, uh, the 3DS is obviously out, so, uh... That's even better than that DS and the DS Lite. But Nintendo wants you to buy... What do they want you to buy? They want you to buy... DS Lights, yes. Well, they also want you to buy 3DSs, so... Buy Nintendo stuff is pretty much what they're trying to say to you in like sublime, subliminal messaging. So now we're holding a DS. Now, how is this supposed to train her, by the way? This mer lovely, merly character. Makes no sense to me. But anyways, let's go give it to her, whatever, so we can get this magic crystal ball. So we can finally be done with this stupid quest. What is this even doing for us, by the way? We haven't seemed to accomplish anything besides made old people happy. Which I guess is good in itself. You should always make old people happy when you can. But not when they're old and cranky like Watch It and like Bestovius who's just rude. Anyways, let's... Here you go, here's your training device. Did you pick up my equipment for me? Yeah, here you go. DS. This is it, this is it, now I can train to my heart's content. All right, have fun. Where's my crystal ball? What? You wonder which body part I can work with this? No, just give me the crystal ball. <laughs> well, my brain, of course. Oh, it's making a reference to brain age. Buy Brain Age on the DS Lite is what Nintendo's telling you to do. I've already trained every other part of my body, so that leaves just my head. Oh, does it now? Does it? That was so nice of you. Thank you so very much. You have no idea how much effort I went through to get that. Well then, as promised, here's your gift. 
A crystal ball, yay! Take it to Merle. Please take this to Merle. There will be no charge, but please tell her this. Now we're even. Huh? And on that note, take care. Ugh. All right. So now we have the crystal ball. This is like one of the worst fetching missions. Don't you hate fetching fetching missions in games when you have to go collect something and to collect that something you have to collect something else and to collect that something else you gotta collect something else and you end up walking around the entire world just to collect one stupid thing from one single person. So annoying. You know, I know like this Nintendo game, like they definitely like push the boundaries on these things just because like to do it overboard, like they know it's a fetch it mission but they make it much worse just because they want you to know that they know it's a fetch it mission. So they do it like, they overkill it just so, you know, to kind of make it silly. It doesn't make it silly, it just makes it more annoying than it has to be, but whatever. Did you get a ball for me? Did I thank you, golly G? Here, here you go. Happy, please be happy, stop it. That's it, that's the one, ha <laughs> oh well done. Thank you, thanks a ton. Well then, let's see now, I must thank you somehow. I guess that there's only one thing I can do for you, hun. One charm for you, woohoo! Just one. If I want a charm on someone, cross the counter and talk to me, hun. No, I, I want, I want, I want something else. I don't want a charm. Well, actually, a charm would be pretty nice, but I want something else. What's this I see on you? You look angry or blue? A charm for me is just not enough. Kids these days, ungrateful stuff. Fine, I would be remiss if I did not give you this. A random house key. You just stole someone's house key and gave it to me? I don't want that either. Don't give me someone's house key. I'm not gonna go try everyone's house door. What happens if I find someone's house door who it is? I just open the door, walk in and go, oh hi, I look like a burglar, but trust me, it was that Merle character. She's the one who gave it to me. She's the creeper. Once there was an explorer, a charm I cast with a purr. He gave me this, yes sir. I do not know what it unlocks. I bet it's handy, but my, be my socks, or buy my socks. You can have it, it rocks. How do you know it rocks? What if it's to like some dog house somewhere? No one cares about it. I'll probably open that open that doghouse to find just a bunch of doggy doo-doo. Thanks for the doggy doo-doo key. Uh, well, now that I think about it, there is a house thing in um, flop side in the under. I think it's one world down or yeah, one level down. In that back area, when we first entered the area, there's a there's a lock on that lock on that door you pass in the house. So I think I'm at the right area. Yeah, it looks like it. And is it over here? Nope, it's on the other side. Okay. So we need to get Mario and go to the other side. And it's like the building right back. Yeah, there. Right back over there. So. Alright, back here we go. And dodge these people who are talking about dying. And alright, here's the house. Does this work here? Random house key, please work. Yes! Victory is ours! Yes, 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 yes. And what do we have here? A box. A big box. Must mean there's good stuff inside. Hopefully, hope, hopefully there's good stuff inside. We'll, we'll find out. You never know with this game. There might be nothing worthwhile, but... Alright, what do we got? <clears throat> doodly do! Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. The bird and warbles tweet! The bug and cries cheep! I don't know of any bug that goes cheap. Don't they go chirp? This guy already fails at music. Ugh. Oh well. The frog, ribbit. The dog, gruff. Goats and cars, bleat. Uh, all things sing, you see. To live is to make music. My words, could it be? I've said something poetic. Could it truly be? And you are... I am Piccolo. Your footsteps sang to me, clop, clop, and over again. But those sounds are not your everything. You're all your essence. Nope. I'll show you why. All right, we have the new pixel. Piccolo. The mulatus pixel named Piccolo joined your group. If you use Piccolo, different music will play depending on the character you use with some secret powers sprinkled in. Sweet. Use me to hear sound that matches your character. Piccolo, colo. The beat of your spirit. I will find it and play it for you. Let's try it out. Not sure exactly what happened, but we played a nice little tune for us, and looks like it, it 
it looks like it cured something. Maybe if we had a status ailment, you know, like if we were poisoned or something that would have healed us, but um, uh, it didn't. Oh! We have old school jumping sounds! That's awesome! Really awesome, actually. That's really cool. Sweet. So, I don't know exactly what this pixel does, but if I remember correctly, and I have a bad memory, but we did see a, a block, at least in flip side, that had the exact image of this pixel on it. So I will be heading there, guys. But that will be happening in the next episode. So thank you so much for tuning in this, in this episode, guys. I really appreciate it. And in the next one, we will be uh, going to find that block with the pixel with, with the piccolo on it. And once we find that, we will uh, we'll start looking for that pillar heart. Now we have a we have now we have a pure heart, and we need to find a pillar to put that pure heart in. So we'll be doing that in the next episode too, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Take it easy.